The materials that you need for this lab are a test tube rack with six test tubes. You need iodine, and because we're using iodine, you need rubber gloves. You need starch solution and three different amylase solutions. Amylase is an enzyme that breaks starch down into sugars. Um, you need an amylase solution that is at pH 7, an amylase solution that's at pH 9, and an amylase solution that's at pH 11. <clears throat> now we're going to take three of the test tubes and label them for the amylase solutions. So we're going to take one of them and label them 7 for pH of 7. Label one of them 9 for pH of 9. And the last one will be labeled 11 for a pH of 11. And then I'm going to take one milliliter of each of the solutions and put them in the test tube that I've labeled for each one of them. I'm going to take the pH of 7. Alright, and in the other three test tubes, I'm going to put one milliliter of the starch solution. Now, I'm going to take my iodine and put two drops of iodine in each of the um, test tubes that have starch in them. I'm going to swirl them. And at approximately the same time, if there were, if I had more hands, I could do all of them at once. But I'm going to go ahead and add the starch solution with the iodine to each one of the amylase solutions. I'm going to have to do this quickly so that they all start working at the same time. Now I'm going to start the time, and we'll record observations at each time segment on the data table.
So after five minutes, you can see that the pH 11 solution is almost clear, the pH 9 solution is very light blue, and the pH 7 solution is still very dark blue. Here's what the colors mean. In um, each of these solutions originally, you had starch. And when you add iodine to starch, it turns bright blue, or kind of a navy blue. Um, <clears throat> so each solution started out as that dark blue color. Um, that meant that it had starch in it. When you added the amylase, amylase is an enzyme that breaks starch down into sugar. And sugar does not turn iodine blue. So when the amylase began to react with the starch, the starch was being broken down into sugar. As it turned into sugar, the solution turned lighter and lighter in color because the iodine could no longer turn blue because of the starch. So as the starch turned into sugar, the solution got lighter and lighter in color. After a long time, the solutions um, 11 and 9 will turn almost clear in color because all of the starch has been turned into sugar. But the solution 7 takes a very long time. Um, eventually it will turn clear, but because the pH of 7 is so difficult for the amylase, um, it takes it a long time to work. So we can see because of the time it takes for the amylase to break the starch down into sugar, the amylase works the best in the 11, um, pH 11 solution, works okay in the pH 9 solution, and it works very slowly in the pH solution of 7.